Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you the recipe of traditional market style mango pickle of Maharashtra. It's really amazingly delicious with your regular food. For making mango pickle, I am taking 4 mangoes, green mangoes. After washing the mangoes, I wiped them with a cotton cloth and dried them up as you can see. No water is there. So now we need to cut them into pieces. I strongly suggest here not to take baby mangoes. We need prominent green mangoes for this recipe. I mean the seeds should be prominent, should be hard. Now I am cutting them into pieces. I have this Bengali knife for cutting them. You may use a big size knife for this. We need to remove the seeds like this and then cut into pieces. Let's cut all the green mangoes into pieces and you may keep the size according to your wish. You may keep a big size but I am making them small in size. All of them are done. Now we need to add some salt and turmeric powder in the mangoes. I am using only 1 teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. After that, we need to mix everything very well with the green mangoes and we should not use our hand for mixing this. You may mix them like me or you may use a spoon for this. And they are mixed up very well. Now, I am taking a basket or you may take a strainer or a sieve. I am adding the green mangoes into the basket and putting the bowl under the basket like this. It will work like a strainer and now we need to cover the basket uh, that means strainer and now we need to leave it for about 2 to 3 hours like this. In the meantime we need to prepare the spices. Here I am taking 50 grams of mustard lentils. Mustard lentils means split mustard seeds after peeling them off. You may notice that they are peeled off. If you don't have this, you may take the whole mustard seeds, there is no problem. I am taking 50 grams of mustard lentils and now I need to roast them for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium to low heat. We need to remove the moisture from this. By doing this process, the shelf life of our pickle will increase and it will last for about 1 year. After about 2 to 3 minutes, the color has little changed and now we need to remove them from the pan. The electricity is back and here I am now on the heater. Now I am going to roast some salt, regular salt. I am taking about 60 grams of regular salt and I am going to roast it. I am going to use half of it for this pickle. We need to remove all the moisture from the salt to increase the shelf life of our pickle. It's done. I am removing it. And after that we need to make some spices for the pickle. For the spices mixture I am taking 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, 1 4 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, not more than that. And now half teaspoon of black peppers, 7 to 8 cloves, and about 2 inches of dalcini that means cinnamon and now we need to roast all the things on medium to low heat for about 2 to 3 minutes until it's aromatic and color has little changed and the spices are done i'm removing them and we need to cool them down fully and after that we need to make a coarse powder of it now we need to prepare oil for the pickle I am adding about 1 cup of refined oil. You may take mustard oil or any kind of cooking oil as you like, there is no problem. We need to heat it well. After the oil is heated well, we need to check it. For checking, I am adding about half teaspoon of mustard seeds in the oil and they are crackling well. It means the oil is ready for our pickle. Now we need to turn the heat off and after turning heat off, we need to add some spices powder in the oil. I am just preventing myself from the crackling mustard seeds with the help of a lid. And now, after turning the heat off, I am adding about 1 teaspoon of hing, that means asafoetida, in the oil. 
the heat is off now but the oil is hot and I am taking white SO4 tita. you may take the yellow one there is no problem I am taking about 1 teaspoon of SO4 tita. and now about 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder as well SO4 tita and turmeric powder should be added in hot oil and after that we need to add some red chili powder for a brighter color and spiciness if you don't like spiciness in the pickle you may use some paprika powder for a brighter color only the oil is not so much hot now. So now I am going to add 2 teaspoons of red chilli powder. It is a spicy red chilli powder, not the paprika powder. After adding red chilli powder, we need to cool the oil down fully, mixing it nicely and after that I am going to leave it for some time. The oil is fully cooled down now. It's in normal temperature and now this is the spices powder that we made previously, roasted spices powder and I'm taking about 2 teaspoons from here. The market pickle contains lots of spices but I'm actually making the pickle with a little quantity of spices but you may change the quantity there is no problem it's fully your choice. You may increase the quantity of spices and now I'm going to add salt. I am adding about 30 grams of salt, regular salt, half of the 60 grams, mixing well and uh, at the end of this I am adding the mustard lentils, I am adding about half of the quantity, about 25 grams of mustard seeds, mustard lentils, mixing nicely. And now our oil is ready for the pickle. I strictly suggest you to bring the oil in normal temperature before adding in the pickle. It should not be hot or warm. Our oil is fully in normal temperature so we can use it without any hesitation. So let's go for the mangoes. After about 3 hours the mangoes are shrinked a little and some water is released from the mangoes after adding the salt. We need to remove the water and in the same bowl I am adding the green mangoes. And now we need to add the oil in the mangoes. I think one cup of oil is enough for this pickle but later you may use more oil if needed. Just heat the oil nicely, cool it down and after that add it in the pickle. So now we need to mix everything very well with the help of the spatula. Don't use your hand for making the pickle. It will reduce the shelf life of the pickle. I think the quantity of spices is very low for this pickle. So I am adding some more mustard lentils. You may change the quantity of spices according to your wish. There is no boundness. After mixing very well, we need to leave it for about 3 days like this with a lid. In the daytime we will put it in the sun for making the process fast. It is mixed up nicely. Now I am covering it with a lid and after 3 days I will show you the pickle. During these 3 days we need to stir it occasionally like uh, after about 10 to 12 hours we need to stir it once. After 3 days I am showing you the pickle. You may notice guys the pieces of mangoes are shrinked, the quantity is decreased and the oil has come over the pickle. After mixing a little we need to put it in container. Glass container will be best for storing the pickle but I don't have a big size glass jar. I have a small size glass jar so I am using it and I am using a plastic container as well. Here it is. I washed them very nicely and after washing I dried them in the sun for about 2 hours. So let's put it in the jar. While putting the pickle in the jar we need to press them with the help of the spoon so that the oil comes over the pickle. While storing no mango pieces should be over the oil. Only the oil should be over all the pickle. After filling both of the container this little quantity of pickle is left. I am adding it in a bowl to click a photo. Our pickle is almost ready now. No need to put it in the sun now. It's quite yummy and tasty now. 
but after about 2 to 3 days more it will be even tastier. Don't use your hand or a damp spoon for taking pickle. It will increase the shelf life of it. So guys try this simple recipe and enjoy for a whole year. If you try this recipe don't forget to share your experience with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.